Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Valley. Ever wondered if Valheim is still a game worth diving into in 2024? Whether you're a new player or a seasoned viking, you're in the right place. Let's talk about the state of Valheim in 2024. When Valheim was released in early access in February 2021, it quickly became a surprise hit, selling millions of copies in the first few weeks and prompting developer Iron Gate to change gears. This surge in popularity led to the announced roadmap becoming outdated, forcing Iron Gate to shift focus from new content to bug fixes and small additions like the Midsummer Pass in June 2021, which introduced the possibility to craft a maple for a short period. Following these small additions, the very first substantial content update, Hearth and Home, was released in September 2021. This update featured changes to the food system, new build pieces, tar pits including new enemies and saddles for our well-beloved Luxon. Iron Gate also added new weapons and shields like the Crystal Battle Axe and the Skeleton Shield. They even gave us the luxury of hot tubs. Looks pretty comfy, right? Soon after, they added Jacko Turnips and a new creature to the swamp, which remains one of my favorite creatures till this day. Obviously, the Abomination needs to drop something, so Iron Gate decided to add the Root Armor as well. At the start of 2022, Iron Gate released the Frost Cave update, featuring a new dungeon in the mountain biome new enemies, new build pieces, and last but not least, a new armor including a new weapon type, the Flash Rippers. Besides a few small additions, 2022 was pretty quiet until the highly anticipated Mistlands update, which was released at the end of the year. This is still the biggest content update till date. Not only did Iron Gate create a new biome, they also added magic, new weapons, armor, building pieces, NPCs, enemies, and a brutal boss fight. The Mistlands is, in my opinion, the most impressive update to the game, although the community is still divided. The thick mist and the verticality of the environment create problematic situations for some players, so not everyone is happy with the latest difficulty spike. However, Iron Gate had a solution for all those comments. Hilda's request was released during the summer of 2023 and featured some additions in the form of mini bosses, fashionable items, and new difficulty options in the form of world modifiers. The latter in particular was very popular with many players. Nowadays you can adjust the drop rate of items, mob aggression, completely turn off raids, and more. Valheim attracts a lot of different players and not everyone is interested in difficult combat. The Mistlands is a good example of this. So what is the future of Valheim? There's a major new content update coming this year. The Aslands is the latest biome to be added to Valheim. This new area has new enemies, conditions, weapons, armor, and once again a new boss. A release date has not yet been announced, but Iron Gate has said that the update will be released in the first half of this year. For the rest, we have to wait and see. We can ignore the roadmap that was once released, but we do know that at least one more biome will be added. The Deep North is probably the biome I'm most looking forward to, the mountains are my current favorite biome, and the snow makes me want more. Other than that, there might be smaller content updates for the other biomes in the ocean. To be honest, I wouldn't mind having a few more choices regarding ships. I'm curious to see what Iron Gate has in store for us in 2024 and beyond. Valheim's development path has led to many discussions in recent years. Still, I could say that Valheim was extremely well put together on its early access release. The Mistlands content update has shown that Iron Gate still has a certain vision, and we just have to wait patiently for that. So if you're looking for one of the very best survival games in years, Valheim certainly won't disappoint. Just keep in mind that the content updates do not follow each other quickly. However, this shouldn't be an issue if you have a backlog like me. Are you thinking about playing Valheim? This next video offers valuable tips for starting your Valheim adventure. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.